So, the event that has been a long time coming, finally, here is the last section of the London Loop. Section 15 of the London Loop. Oh, I think it's going to be a little muddy because uh, we had an awful lot of rain last night. But still, it's a nice crisp autumn morning and just uh, the right sort of weather for the 10 mile walk to um, Elstree. Oh, it has been wet. There's a stream running down the middle of this path. Now, coming up shortly, I've got to go on to another golf course. That's my favourite parts of walks, crossing golf courses. So far, so good. There'll be no people around yet. Probably about the only golf course on a Saturday morning in London with no people on it. Must be very exclusive. You know, there are a few around. Not many though. Now this is an absolute stunning view. And this has got a wonderful name, this lane. It's called um, Ass House Lane. Now there's no loop sign on this this post, but as you can see, somebody's kindly engraved it. Now I'm uh, crossing uh, Grimm's um, Dyke or ditch uh, to uh, give it its uh, correct name, and it was uh, uh, built uh, in the late Iron Age. An early Roman period and was uh, uh, for uh, separating estates so that uh, cattle and livestock didn't um, sort of uh, move between the two. And when the uh, early Saxons uh, came across uh, the um, the sort of regular uh, what you call them scars, I suppose it is as they saw them in the landscape. They didn't know what they were for and they uh, associated with the devil and uh, the old Saxon word for devil is Grimm. So hence uh, you got uh, Grimm's Dyke because uh, of course the Saxon word for uh, ditch is dyke. There we are, potted history lesson over. Gorgeously still. I've just come off uh, 
Harrow Weald Common and look at this absolutely fantastic view that uh, I've come across you can see for miles and miles see there's Wembley and carrying on around that's Harrow Absolutely fantastic. After a little detour on the road to go around the uh, Grimsdyke Hotel, uh, it's uh, now back into the woods. I hear a road coming up This area that I'm walking through was uh, requisitioned by the Ministry of Defence in 1940 for an extension of Benefit Priory, which was the uh, wartime headquarters of the RAF, and uh, it was never actually um, uh, built upon. So uh, it's been like this since uh, 1940, and even earlier. Very nice. And he is one of the animals enjoying the open space. And here are some more animals. That explains all the big cow pats. way to go. It's Stanmore Common. And uh, this is described by the guide as the picturesque little common. Tree is on the map. The place I'm passing behind this fence is the uh, Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital. 
Oh, and another nice view with horses this time. Sort of somewhere over here. By the way, what you can hear is the M1 motorway. Not far to go now to the end of this section and my final completion of the London Loop. And this is Aldenham Reservoir which was built in 1795 by French prisoners of war and it uh, is a reservoir that supplies the Grand Union Canal. And off we go across a field of something Looks like cabbages something like that. Probably not cabbages. It's something green and a very muddy field as well. Ugh, now I've got wet feet. I think they might be cabbages. Difficult to tell really. Some very nice autumn colours coming in the trees. So, this is the last little bit of countryside. I'll be doing before I come to the end of the London Loop at Elstree and Boreham Wood Station. So it's goodbye to the woods. And nearly, nearly, nearly at the end of uh, my trek of London. So, I've now completed the London Loop. I've arrived at Elstree and Boreham Wood Station, where I started off from in January 2011.